श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम 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 ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम हरिओम Who is the opening batsman? Hari Om Pranam Swami ah. ji. Ah. In ah. all the chapters of uh, IQ ji, ah. Papa is giving us a clue that one should be cheerful always. Hmm. Papa accepted all situations not just like that, hmm. but uh, cheerfully. and when we see papa's pictures also that cheerfulness oozing out of his uh, face mm. so how important is it for a seeker to be cheerful yeah he was because, able to because, because we are worried about everything whether worldly or the spiritual also are we going to reach there or not what if i don't reach like this kind of anxiety is there in all of us so and we forget to even smile we forget about cheerfulness we are not even smiling so much of tension is there in us and uh, how should we be cheerful and is it necessary for a seeker to be cheerful so much please yes yes you are it's absolutely a very 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 pertinent point <laughs> the life of the sadhaka this is a must to be reached initially it may be very difficult for us because our mind puts a label as positive and negative and then when it is labeled as negative naturally we won't be cheerful so what do we do Unless and until we try to bring in his dimension, that everything is ordained by him, it will be difficult for us to maintain the cheerful attitude throughout. So at the moment we need not worry about it. Let us be on the process. Uh, let us not get dejected just because you know some passing. <laughs> the passing uh, experiences make us sad make us tensed make us it is, it is we are aiming at this stage where we will be able to accept everything cheerfully but we are all in the process let us concentrate on how to intensify the process when we go through the iqg you are right this is the message he gives us but that message has come because of great tapas done by him it was not by hearing it was by making him to go through so many things in the 2 to 2 and a half years 1920 to 22 the severest tapas he underwent and then he was getting stabilized and in his case he never felt he was doing it even the very tapas that was actuated by that was motivated by that was response that was made possible by the indwelling reality in our case the sense of individuality is planning therefore the anxiety will be there there the sense of individuality is uh, do- dominance was very 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 minimal excepting for its basic requirement no? so the that we should know he was able to maintain the uh, cheerfulness cheerful attitude because he had almost handed over everything to him 
we have not handed over. So naturally, the, there will be tension, uncertainties, anxieties. So only by bringing him into the picture, you are putting us into severe, severest test, and we forget that you are behind this. And naturally, you know, I, I have to become anxious about my problem. The moment I hand it over to you, then the problem becomes yours. It is not mine. My common sense tells me that uh, why I am getting tensed because I have not still handed over. I have not still brought about uh, the uh, mental attitude where I again keep on hammering that he, 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 you are bringing out for, for reasons known to you, not known, known, not known to me. At the moment, you may make me to lose something. You may make me to hear something which is not palatable. You may make me to hear certain comments for which I am not at all responsible. Uh, certain provisions I make for the future. You make me feel that it is inadequate. And suddenly, you, some something crops up. I get back. I, I really don't know how to handle. So all these problems are there because now I know at this moment in this 3.30, uh, 4, 4 to 5 session I re definitely come, uh, realize that it is because I have not handed over the things to you. Enable me to hand over. You have been with me but I am not aware. Whereas through IQG you keep on hammering this truth and you also emphasized or brought in some factors to keep this tempo like periodical solitude, periodical evaluation, uh, uh, subjecting, accepting everything as a test uh, and always becoming positive. These are the things we have to keep on uh, associating closely with and wherever, uh, wherever he facilitates us, wherever he offers us that opportunity, we intensely pray to implement it. Let us, let, let, let us not view it from the individual level. We, we remember one word, Inclusion. There is no limit where you cannot limit the inclusion level. That means accommodating everything. Accommodating everything that will lessen the anxiety, that will lessen the stressful moment, that will lessen the tension feeling of insecurity, so many things. Kindly think about it, inclusion, the word inclusion. Okay, so we think. Expansive inclusion, yeah. An inclusion where everything is included. We try to include. Somebody does something, says something, about the including in our network. Huh. Our attitude is changed. But during our past moment, suppose we keep on churning all these things and keep it uh, uh, registered or marked in our, in our subconscious state. At the time when God makes us to pass through, it will help us by itself. So we, are, we, we are doing it not as an exercise, we are doing it with a prayer. Think about it, this is a very important thing. Workaday life problem. Huh? Yes, yes. Kindly think about it. Okay, okay, so let Inclusion. Yes. Haruvam Pranam Swamiji. Pranam. In quest of God, all the 37 chapters are tasty and not even tasty. It is a nectar. 
drinking of nectar swami mm. according to me in 19 in 9th chapter pandicherry mm. one incident there swami took place uh. Papa and Sadaram one day morning early before sunrise started on foot, 20 miles and reached Pondicherry mm. at about 2 p.m. Mm. for Darshan of Sri Aurobindo. Mm. Papa could not have Darshan of Sri Aurobindo. Mm. Meanwhile, a police inspector said was yeah. that only two hours were allowed to clear out of the city. Mm. Papa replied in English, oh. but he could not understand. Mm. In, in Tamil, Sadhu Ram expressed the reason that after a walk of 20 miles at a stretch, the tired pilgrims required some rest and leave the place next morning. Now the police inspector reduced to one hour. Accordingly, Papa and Sadhu Ram started to move away from that place. Sadhu Ram finding fault with the inspector, police inspector and abused like anything for about a mile. It is a very painful situation how to overcome such a situation as a spiritual aspirant. One more thing, Swamiji. Papa quoted in the end of the paragraph, it might have been all a trick of Ram to test Ram Das if he would join him in the game set on foot by him. Ram alone knows and he alone can judge. Have kindly give some solutions and spiritual to the spiritual aspects suggestions and clues to apply in our workday life Swami Ji. We, yeah. we need more Sorry. more Yes, that picture comes before us. We cannot blame the Sadhu Ram. What the Sadhu Ram felt was hundred percent right. But at the same time, viewing it, viewing it from the individual level, it is absolutely right. You and I will do the same thing. But Papa did not view it from the individual angle. He was, you was trying to see it from a little more higher angle. God must have some reason for that. So, so the clue he, he gives is, every time when a situation like this crop up, we must intend pray to him to bring up, bring this dimension. There must be some purpose behind it. That it, may, it could be a test. Or whether we are in a position to keep up the equanimity in times of crisis or a simply a theoretical you know, or an intellectual conviction. And one, one more thing, yes, the moment you started reading it, what came in our mind was, what an amount of endurance, you know, capacity to endure all the sufferings Papa had. Physically, it, was diffi it is difficult, it is unimaginable. 20 miles you walk and immediately you are asked to go back. 20 means 32 kilometers. 32 kilometers. Right from morning, we start walking 32 kilometers at a stretch, probably with absolutely no food. And you reach a place and you are told you cannot have the darshan of the saint. And immediately, okay, that is tolerable. They can go and take rest somewhere. But to make it worse, God enacted one more drama by a, a most irritating police officer. We, 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 we imagine, you know, we cannot blame the Sadhu Ram. But, but just imagine the amount of endurance, you know. Shama. In the 12th chapter, when the Lord says, Who is dearest to me? He says, Advesta Sarvabhudana Maitra Karuna Yevaja Nirmamo Nirahankara Samadukha Sugakshami Santushta Satatam Yogi Atatma Dridanishtaya Mayar Pidamano Buddhihi Yomat Bhakta Samepriya. So, how do I become a dearest devotee? You know? In 12th chapter, he defines, there he says about that endurance, you know. 
we can put it as inclusion. That endurance can come only when we bring in that God does everything. So during passive moments like this, we try to go deeper and deeper into such things, such dimensions. And then parade before us some of the incidents where we would have failed, we would have succeeded. So that means you know, it, it, slowly to make it my own. At that particular time, I was not bringing God's dimension. And now I feel, yes, even without coming to the forefront, God helped me. So it is possible. We were able to endure when love was predominant in our heart. A person whom we loved, suppose he shouted something, he accused something, we were able to accommodate. We did not carry the prejudice. So after some time we told him what you told was not right. Then he also apologized, finished. So like that, you know, those such incidents we try to bring it so that it becomes our own. How God gave us the opportunity to test it without even knowing that we are, we are being tested. Where we have failed also we can fail. So that slowly it doesn't become a, a, a an ideal separate from us. An ideal which has already taken deep root in me without even my knowing. Such methods we have to try. There could be many other methods, but this is what you know struck to us. How when we parade before our own mind, such trying moments. Like yesterday what we shared, you know. Always try to bring our life back you know, and see what all he made us to do, sitting himself in the background. Only on very rare or rarest or rare, rarest or the rarest occasion he would have made us known that God helped us. Otherwise he had helped us, he has been helping us. But in order that that will be helpful for my future, it is better to remember such incident which he has, through which he has helped me. He gave me relief. He made me to endure. He made me to reconcile. He made me to accommodate. He made me to give space to others. Certainly this must have happened in everybody's life. <laughs> Actually, that uh, yesterday in Quest of God, no, that two sadhurams for Bhiksha, you know, they were, after they didn't get uh, proper this thing, no, coins. So they were, that's, uh, first they were praying God, then next, when they got the, from uh, uh, Papa some coins, no, they were praising God. But they, that shows they are not on any sadhu. Because the words are so wonderful words touching in the heart of everybody, you know. So even, uh, you know, I imagine, even, even though they are taking Buksha and do, I think do, because of doing bhajans, they are getting these words. What is, uh, can you tell, explain, Swamiji? Yeah, the words, we cannot, we won't be telling, see, by so nice, wonderful words, eh? they are telling and praising God, and uh, they are asking, please, uh, we, generally, we, yeah. we may, they may mistake means, eh? oh, sorry, neither only will do without much any feeling. But they are telling so nicely, touches everybody's heart, so they are not honorary sadhus, I think. So, what is your reason, Swami? They, they are leading such a life, you know. Mm -hmm. It is not that they are simply uh, they are telling. Uh -huh. They have been relying on God, they have faith in God, at times it gets shaken, and at that time God sees to it that uh, the, uh, it gets concretized. They have already been on the path, leaving everything. Ah, leaving everything. They have been doing this. Because the not birds are so... Not, not, with the, not with the usual uh, planning or uh, comfort zones. Mm -hmm. They have completely uh, offered to God everything. And that is why they were uh, singing. And they, how you can see when uh, how happy they were and how they responded. Not because of the money that was put by Papa. 
they immediately realize that they should not have doubted. Mm-hmm. So that means, you know, they have traveled a lot, they have moved a lot. Mm-hmm. Still, there were there are some gaps, and God filled the God is filling that gaps. So it gives us a uh, assurance that when uh-huh. we do, when we do such things with uh, backed up by such tapas, by mm-hmm. such uh, austerities, by such mm-hmm. self denials, by mm-hmm. such uh, conditions, He will help us, though He may test us. Uh-huh. Really touching, very touching, and a lesson for everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Samji. Thank you. Thank you. Swamiji, are you? Are you? Swamiji, one incident with which you can recollect in your life where uh, you have gone through some sternest moments and then how it has helped you so that that will help us, which I feel. Can you please share any one incident in your in your entire journey into this uh, path? On, on what? Uh, on, in the sternest journey, Wherever, one, one instant where it made you, uh, in a, uh, you are going through a troublesome situation, ah. but Ram has saved, a Papa has saved, and which will, we can connect it. Uh, that was early in 60s. We were working in Chennai at that time. During or whenever there is any uh, program of Swami Chinmayanji Maharaj, we used to take part in it. And we, we were also one of the volunteers there for the Yajna Sala. At that time, our office colleagues, you know, they were all like brothers, very close, very loving. But one day, probably to just for Fun's sake, they brought out a paper with three photos of Swami Chirmiyanji. And in Tamil it is written, Idum Sanyasama. He is this sanyas. And first photo was uh, Swamiji uh, uh, sitting on the front, front seat of the car. Uh, the, it is being driven by a lady. In the second one, some ladies are there. He is sitting surrounded by ladies. Third thing, he is walking again uh, closely surrounded by ladies. As soon as we saw that uh, photo, we have we had to go for the uh, Edna Shala because uh, we were in charge of the cycle stand. So before the cyclists uh, come, you know, we have to go there, mark every whenever a cycle comes, we have to we have to have a chop piece and mark number and give them a token, like that. But at that time, the moment we saw this, you know, we were shocked. It is, it is printed on a paper. Terrible struggle. And uh, Swamiji is a, is a giant person, no? Uh, so, half of the mind says, no. Half of the mind says, how can this be? Because this is a clear cut photo. We have in our mind uh, an impression about Swamiji that sannyasi should be like this. Some concept we have created. So this was going on on that day. Uh, as soon as we went there, one of the senior most uh, uh, devotees who happened to be a very close friend of us, named Vasudevan, he told him this one. He thought he would also get a shock. But instead he said, why don't you go and clarify it with Swamiji? You are too nervous. First of all, you are very young. And second thing is nervous, you know, to go approach Swamiji and ask this question. But at the same time, this doubt was lingering and on that day, you know, the whole talk, you know, it did not leave any impression because the mind was totally confused, passing through terrible stress. But at the end of the session, The secretary announced when Swamiji left the venue that uh, tomorrow, if anybody is interested to offer their seva to Swami for half a day, they are welcome. Then they gave the address where we should go. Somehow spontaneously, we don't know. We gave the name. 
and when we went there our job was only to answer the telephone call because Swami Ji doesn't need anything else. So the host, you know, very loving mother, she said uh, whenever any call comes for appointment, uh, you can get all the details and uh, then check up with Puja Swamiji who is in the first floor. There was a telephone call. It was from a Sanskrit college. The principal was a lady. She said uh, whether can we get Swamiji today from between 5 to 6. So we asked all the details. Then we went up. Swamiji was writing. Then only we came to know that Swamiji was replying everything by hand. He was not dictating. So many letters were there. Each and every letter he was replying by hand. So he looked at us. Yes, young man, what brought you here? Then we immediately said there was a telephone call. Explained everything. And he asked everything. What is the distance? How much time it will take us for us to reach from here to the college? And then after this college to the venue, what is the duration of the speech they want? Any subject? Everything, you know, we answered. Then finally he said, they will come or we have to go? No, Swamiji, they will come. But even when these were going, half of our mind was still struggling with that conflict. And now is the uh, touching scene. At about 4.55, the car came, 4.30 or 4.45. Swamiji at 4.55 came down, immediately went and occupied the first seat. The, the car was brought by the principal herself. So she was in the driver's seat. One or two lecturers have come, they are also ladies. Swamiji immediately looked at me, get in man. Spontaneously, I got it. When the car was moving, suddenly from inside, the dialogue started. What is happening now? Swamiji is sitting on the front seat. It is driven by the principal Amma. And uh, lecturer Amma are sitting and you are also sitting. What is wrong with it? Without any clarification, you know, without any dialogue with anybody, excepting to that senior devotee, the, the, the doubt got diffused by itself. We were supremely happy to have it, we got it clarified through our own experience. Because as soon as we got down, we told Asadeva, uh, yes, 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 this is what happened, nothing is wrong, is there? No? Yeah, correct. So he said, you can't blame the press man, the paper man, because he is viewing it from his angle. He cannot raise himself from his level. So he thought anybody in that position would misuse the situation, would fall in. But you, God now made you to watch. You found nothing wrong in sitting with the teachers there. You found nothing wrong with Swamiji sitting on the front seat. So he wanted to demonstrate it in its own way. So then we took it that whenever such things come, we should not jump into any decisions. Wait, wait, wait. And if it's an ardent prayer from the heart, it will be immediately uh, uh, cleared. You know, that delusion will be cleared. In a... a in a mysterious way, yeah. not planned, not no, not Tom Tom, nothing was there, and nobody came and said, "Did you see that?" No, but they, but you got the experience, and even after now 40, 45 years or fifty years, it is still fresh in our mind. It, it comes back to us often. This is a, this is this is a reminder. No? Whenever you happen to pass through any such in, inner conflicts. Wait, 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 don't jump into conclusions. Okay, okay, you, you can share it with a mature person. So that, you know, you will not go slip out of the uh, boundary. Because it, for, it, it, it may not be possible for you to immediately accept it. But 
you know that God will mysteriously come and clear it. Sauji, so, yeah. uh, yes. Uh, I, I, don't, don't mistake me. So in that uh, moment, did you pray to God, Sauji? So, that uh, tension period. Eh? Did you uh, pray to God? I, that's what, I, we did not pray to God. We wanted to no. have the that's all. The craving was there. We wanted uh-huh. to have it cleared. Uh-huh. Cleared, yeah, but you. But God, God, God may clear it even without our officially going through the formalities of prayer. Achha, achha. No, even without prayer also, he will clear, make it clear, yeah. isn't it? That's why we said we have to go back and bring all these things into our blood. Many a times he would not have come out in the front. Uh, and achha. many a time, many a times we, we would not have observed any protocol. Achha. But he had out of his love come out and cleared the things and kept silently back in his seat. These are all the things which which make us, you know, uh, more and more convinced that he is guiding us, leading us, protecting us. Thank you, sir. Swamiji, hurry up. Hurry up. Chapter, chapter number 5, you have a number of Swamiji. Now, Ram does two hints more completely than ever. Hariyo, Vekanand ji, kindly switch on the audio. Chapter 5, 99 Swamiji, Rameshwara. Now Ram Ram threw himself more completely than ever on the support of Ram with only two pros and a few books are his processes in the world. So the external sacrifice is needed actually when God has given us some external things to enjoy. Should we sacrifice that that's also when Indian will be submitted to God everything. External sacrifice is needed when it is needed to attain God. Externally whatever God given, can't we enjoy that and internally submit everything to God for Allah. See, these are the things, you know, which we cannot view it, we cannot form an opinion from our level. It is something, you know, extraordinary. A person who doesn't have anything except that nine rupees. And nine rupees is a big thing on those days. It's a big amount, very big amount. And he, he handed it over and then he felt relief. Now Ramdas threw himself more com- more completely than ever on the support. But probably a little, a small fraction of the mind will be definitely holding on to the nine rupee. But when that was also given, this is a, no, that's, a stage, that's a stage where, you know, we cannot even imagine ourselves. So it is, it is a God, God's own mercy, God's own grace that he was prompted to take such a step. Because when he when he was prompted to take the uh, uh, three vows, uh, the last two vow ex- explicitly said that henceforth he will be living only on arms. So in order to hold on to that arm, uh, hold on to that vow, God made him to renounce, to give away even the nine rupees. Because otherwise, there may be an instance where out of circumstances, out of compulsion, we may touch it. The moment he has taken the woe, whatever he had, that would give him some some security, that he immediately mentally removed it. And in here, he physically removed it. As soon as he took the woe, he mentally removed it from him. And then later on, physically moved in Rameshwara. It is a stage which we can only read and understand. Ajay, and pray to him to give us that, that much of Ajay, Ajay. vairagya. It is vairagya to the highest level. Highest level. Uh, highest level. Uh-huh. Something, you know, we, we cannot discuss because it is spontaneous. It is a, 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 a evolution. Huh? Uh-huh. How, how can, how can we say by, by anything we will get like that? No. Only by reliance on God. Oh, no. Unimaginable, unimaginable. Which is the same. Mr. Draupadi, Draupadi need to Krishna just as last moment. Like that. Draupadi is like, uh, Yeah, so we, we, keep, so we, what we can do, we can try to bring down our, uh, uh, possessions. Uh, we can try to bring down that which gives us some security uh, to the minimum level. Uh, and then, 
pray to him even uh, please uh, free me from this when you are taking care why should i make my, my, my own arrangement to take care of me i, I that, that means i should be i should be thoroughly convinced i should be thoroughly uh, transformed to a stage where i am absolutely safe no, 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 no possession uh, sir ji is a beautiful point it has to be we have to keep on churning 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 uh this is the ninja no. study uh the doll mentally is something you know again for us mentally physically what is it mentally he prepared uh, as soon as he took the vow Mm-hmm. And fourth, I, we shall live only on the arms procured. Mm-hmm. That means whatever he had at that moment, mm-hmm. physically he was possessing, you know. Ah, oh, correct, correct. And so mentally, he, uh, that he has mentally uh, renounced. Ah, yes, yes. Okay. He physically renounced. Correct, correct. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So you first we have to keep on now thinking. Reduce our wants. You know, this is the message first. Minimum, minimum, so that our our anxiety for the future, you know, say anxiety for the security of the future, it will get slowly, you know, diminished. And when he has provided everything, why should I make a provision for everything? I may fail. I may forget. Again, I get. So I may first to fix a limit. Beyond this, I will not have. Parimiti, parigraham. There is a word, you know. Because straight away parigraham, we may not be. Uh, uh, not, not possible. Uh, so first, parimiti, parigraham. I will limit to this. Beyond that, I will not have. And then again, bring down the level of that limit. And then limit. Then bring down, bring down. And one fine morning, he will make you to see. I am there, you know. Why do you bother? At that moment, we will be. So parimiti, parigraham. Yeah, probably. Very very important. Swami, 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 it is not sufficient no we, we don't have that uh, faith the trust we have faith we don't have that trust so we pray to him so then intuitively now he is telling us you bring down first from 100 rupees to 90 rupees that is enough then you say 90 to 80 that is enough like that you know at one go we may not be able to uh, wash off our hands under god Especially enters into our realm and then takes care of us because we we, we refuse to give him you know our whole yes, equipment to him. Ah, uh, emotional ko spontane. Ado rento toko. So we take some decision emotion when we are uh, emotional ko and the spontaneous. Ado ko enna Swami is there. Spontane, spontane. Here what is meant is spontaneous is where there is no self interest involved. Mm-hmm. Okay, 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 sir. Okay. Emotional level is self-interested. Ah, 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 ah. Correct. Thank you, Swami Ji. Thank you too, Master. Prana Swami Ji. Prana. Prana. Telugu Swami Ji. Prana. Then, chinna, chinna doubt Swami Ji. Telugu. Telugu. Okay. Chinna na thavi tellers. Prana Sama. Hariyo. Ma. उपेकना स्वामीजी 
then papa chanting she will listen 10 to 15 minutes or some time then suddenly a feeling comes from within that oh papa is continuously chanting no he may be feeling thirsty he may be feeling tired i should not switch on and keep like this so she switches up for some time then after some time she feels oh i am not listening to papa i should listen to papa's voice again so she will try to put it so this type of feelings are going on what is happening to her that is what she would like to know is it right or how or how to understand this ah that means the feeling is there no it is a grace it is purely by his grace that you are able to feel you are not feeling it as a box you are feeling papa is papa is standing and naturally papa will get a, um, will feel tired so he should be given rest again we put slowly we are we are not seeing it as a inert box when switched on it plays it's a it's a great thing it's a great blessing on the on her part that to to, to see it not as a not as a box. Uh, what do you call it? chanting box normally we say it's a chanting box it is not chanting box to her it is papa himself if that can be stretched the only thing is that should be stretched to all you know, instead of limiting to a box, it can, it should be, we should now try to stretch it. Papa has given her a wonderful experience of seeing the uh, indwelling reality in a transparent or apparent, uh, in an apparent uh, inert, inert matter. That's a great thing. So the first, first stage she has been blessed with. Now she, she can play. She can pray that the same thing you should, you have provided everything, you know, just like you are chanting through this, you are also, you have also provided me so many things. I should develop the same attitude to all that you have, you make me to handle. So it's a, from one point, you know, it's a great blessing. Another point is it gives us a clue to expand our true vision. Tell her. She understood Swamiji. She can't speak, okay. but she understands. Okay. Pranam Swamiji. May I ask you one question? Eh? Can I ask a question, please? Yes. Yes, Swami you can Ji. ask. Swamiji, she wants to ask a question. Yes. I have. I wish to be very low. Huh? What auditing I should do to know Swamiji's presence? Uh, the uh, spiritual barometer. Pardon, pardon? What auditing, what testing, self-testing, what should I do? Self-testing, what should I do? Some steps are. How to test spiritual barometer with myself? Ah, ah. <laughs> we have got umpteen number of fields to test ourselves. Whether the me and mine is there. You are coming out of your house. Suppose the chair or the furniture is not in the place of the foot rest, foot, what do you call it? Foot mat. Uh, it is not in the place where it should be or in its exact position. Or you have taken a cup of coffee and you have placed the glass. Whether you are giving attention to it. From the smallest you try. As if you know it is talking to us. Why are you going? You have not kept me in the way in which I should be kept. These are all some of the things by which we know that we be, that inclusive, you know, inclusiveness we are talking to. Nothing is irrelevant, nothing is unimportant, nothing is insignificant. Because everything is God's. So when, when, when we offer some flowers, when we keep some flowers for our puja, if some petals or something, you know, is, or that flower is thrown. Whether we are only concentrating on the puja or whether we are concentrating on this. 
we will ensure that even a petal, even a leaf, which has come out of that plate and lying there, God is testing us. Whether you are giving importance to that. Any, any little small, small act, you, you wash your clothes and you put it. And suppose you, you fold it in the proper manner. Because you are recognizing it, no? The relevance of it. God is there in that. Even from the tiniest. When we start identifying, stretching ourselves to even the inert things, then slowly we will try, oh, oh, if that is the case, God will, in his own mysterious way, remind us from within whenever we go off the line. But we have to make a beginning. You remember, some months back we were reading out the experience of one devotee in Tiruvannamale. From the tiny little act, Shraddha, that is Shraddha. So it's quality, care and concern in all that we think, in all that we do, in all that we talk. Might be a simple thing, whether, whether we give that importance. So these three mantras, if we keep on bringing into our mind, that would be the best check on our, our barometer. Nothing or nobody is irrelevant. Nothing or nobody is unimportant. Nothing or nobody is insignificant. This is the this is one of the ways by which you know the me to me can be evaluated. Whether it's hold on me, whether it is getting lessened or it is getting more and more on me. You will find it when you start uh, concentrating on these small, small acts, you will see for yourself perfection to the core, no? You will not do anything in a half a third way. Not to please anybody, but something from you will question this. Why have you kept like this? Automatically you will do it. When you, then, then when you go through the biographies of pastors, you will find how they brought this dimension so beautifully in all their activities. In our case, we are privileged to see Buddha Maharaji and Buddha Sahaji. Even a simple act of taking the umbrella, we still remember. As if the umbrella should not get pain. The way in which he takes the slippers, the way in which he puts back the slippers, you know, something. It is not, it is not that he, he uh, is doing it because of any discipline. Because there is a touch of love there, a touch of concern, a touch of inclusion. Anything that you handle at your home, when you do it perfectly, take it that you are moving from me to we. Not merely inert intention matters. That you will stretch through all the moving. If some, if you, when somebody calls you, you will immediately reply back. When, if somebody wants something, you know, you will not forget. You will be always alert to serve. Not knowing that you are serving because it, it becomes it becomes sahaj in your in your nature. When you promise that you would be in a place such as a place, you will there, you will be there, or you will inform him that quality, care, and concern. These are all the explicit pointers that convince us that we are moving from. Me to be, not me to be. Sauji, uh, in that case, 
this is me in that case we have to love our body also body is given to god only so we should give our body also is it not our Wow. Uh, the only thing is you not only loving our own body, you know. <laughs> correct, correct. <laughs> that is the only difference. Not that we, uh, should, you know, we should take care of our body. Body and all. Same thing to others also. We should not take care of our body alone. No. Correct, correct. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hari Om Swamiji, Pranam. Pranam. Um, Swamiji, on this topic of uh, um, doing things in perfection uh, what if we are living in a house with um, other people and um, if i like to put things uh, you know in a in one way which is uh, in a you know disciplined way but the other people are not doing that so do we just uh, quite you know in a uh, what shall i say um, quietly put it yeah. back to the or because because if we keep telling the other person everybody is adults you know so we cannot criticize them but they may have a different way of living than our living so how to uh, the day to day um you know little little things little things which come uh, that we have to face the so first thing we... the first thing is spiritual aspirant or bhakta Uh, keep before one's mind is that regardless of the nature of the behavior of others because we are doing it for our spiritual progress mm-hmm. to others god has not still prompted them to think on those things yes so their priorities are more that doesn't mean they are bad No, so them, uh, their priorities are different. But right. Our priority is now very clear. Right. To be him in everything and everything. So we try to do that. Instead of instead of uh, finding fault with them, we try to keep on doing it. Yes. Proportionate to the degree of uh, sincerity, it will. It, they will also start thinking, and they will uh, follow it later. Whether they follow it later or not, we are not worried. Sorry. Probably right. we are being tested ten uh, times, fifteen times, twenty times, hundred times. You know, doesn't matter. We will continue to do it, right? Because we are we, our priority is to see him in everything, right? God has given the others some other priority. We also right. pray to God. Why don't you give them this priority also? Because that will be uh, it will be uh, it will be with us always. The other one right. will come and go, right? But in a non-violent way, in a non-violent. Non-violent, right? Non-violent, right? Way, I don't mean physically, even mentally. You know, we we should <laughs> fight, feel it, we should feel, and it will yes. have its own telling effect. Hundred percent telling effect. Hmm. Our priority is very clear. Nothing is relevant. Nothing is unimportant. Nothing is insignificant. Hmm. So we keep on doing it. Okay, which is very helpful. Very helpful. This was very helpful. Are you? Are you? So, Mr. Chief, so continuing with the same uh, line. So, yeah. are you trying to say when we see that everyone has in their particular rooms just thrown the things everywhere, the clothes and everything is just thrown? So, is it that we we feel like picking it? We feel it's wrongly placed, and we pick it and we keep it. And then the other mind tells us that then you are not you are not teaching them what's right, you know. I mean, your child will never understand that um, you are pampering him, and you know, a lot of uh, conflicting thoughts come in when uh, when we start doing it. And then then one mind says, rather leave it over there. Sometime he will understand, and you know, then it will be picked. So so then, how do we link it with if, our? If, Spiritual. If our reaction is in a non-violent way, yeah, uh, it will have its telling effect. Rest assured. Maybe he may be testing you for ten times, fifteen times, twenty times, fifty times. You pray, you keep on praying. Ah, yeah, hundred percent. Because everybody would like to, you know, God is there in everybody, so God would like to see everything is in order. At one time or another, priority would have been shifted. That's all. 
you will never get dispirited. When you start doing everything in a proper order, <coughs> many of, uh, to, to be very, very frank, many things we learned on observing others. But if the next and person when, gets when, when involved the, when in... come to our house, mother will immediately say, welcome him, give him a seat and offer him a cup of water. Huh? Hmm. Or whatever he needs at that time. Hmm. So, no, whether who is that person, we don't know. Huh? Hmm. So, they, they, automatically all these things will come. At this level, when we keep on arguing, probably we may not be able to find a solution. But hmm. of all the field, when we start implementing it, hmm. uh, God will see to it. That we get satisfaction, whether somebody gets satisfaction or not, we don't know. That God alone gets all that mystery. But God gives me satisfaction when I do it the, the way in which it should be done. And whenever I unknowingly, uh, forgetting it, I, when I lose the God, He will immediately point out and put me on the ways again. We may all commit mistakes, we may all forget. But immediately, you know, where did you keep the key? Suppose you say, Oh, I have not knowingly kept the key there. So we may have to search. And finally, we may find fault with somebody also initially. Then some, some finally gives it. Then you realize, oh, then nothing is wrong with everybody. Key is a thing where when you ha handle it, you should remember it, where you keep it. So that you don't have to trouble others, inconvenience others, blame others. Such things will happen. But then, um, Swamiji, won't it like become like a routine? Like, for example, uh, when I see things kept here and there, and I feel like picking it up, and you know, I even if the next person is not taking it, and you know, the maybe the cups are kept for long on the table because maybe everyone is working, they have their office work, they have their studies, they have their priority. But I don't know. Mm, I'll just go and take it and keep. It. So before they are freed from their work. The whole thing is already cleared out. So, um, it just becomes a routine. It just becomes a routine. So then, you know, one mind says, it's all because of you doing this that, you know, the next person doesn't even realize or come to know. It's all because you're doing like, so, <laughs> I get so confused. Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the wrong thing? Yeah, I agree, I agree. All such things will come, but <laughs> we persevere. We persevere. Look, we have our priority, not because of any discipline. Just imagine that, that word is very important. If you are doing it as a discipline, all these conflicts will come in your mind. Okay. You are viewing it as, you know, seva to him. Okay. You are not worried about uh, what others say. This is, this is equal to Ram Nam chanting. This is equal to any sadhana. This is equal to any puja. So you, whether somebody acknowledges, somebody appreciates, you are not bothered. You have done your job. And when, suppose, it comes beyond certain limit, you will know that his priority may be, or her priority may be different. Uh, but you have given me this priority. Make me to hold on to this priority. I must be able to love all and serve all. Love all and serve all means not uh, only people. Love all means everything. Yes. All your creation I must be able to bring in. Yes. I may not be able to do that. But what little... Uh, uh, level we can raise, that we will try. He is testing us. Somebody was asking about the parameter, na? Yeah, he is testing us. And we will all succeed, don't worry. When we go in with this attempt, we will all succeed. Because we are not, we are not asking for any, uh, any certificate from anybody. We are not asking for any acknowledgement from anybody. We are not asking for any appreciation from anyone. We are not asking for any recognition from anybody. It is our, our offering to him. There ends the matter. The moment it is offered, it is it ends. That offering may be interpreted by somebody as something else. We don't. We are not worried. Somebody may be uh, you know, offering puja. Somebody may not be going to the temple at all. So he may not be able to understand that. We don't blame him. God is seated in him also, you know. At the appropriate time, he may also reveal it in his own way, not necessarily in this way. So that, that is why I said that inclusion is a beautiful word where you can keep on bringing the dimension. So we pray to him, make me to include everybody. 
not only the people who agree with me, not only the people who di- indirectly or directly help me in moving towards a peaceful life, make me to include everybody. Uh, we remember one incident already by three years. We have read it in Supradho Bachis, you know, uh, defined success years. His father was admitted in the Sardarjan hospital. At that time, the condition of the hospital was very bad. And uh, the underpaid medical staff, you know, they were also duty, they, they, were, they were working it as a duty, not as, the, the humane touch was not there. So his father was given this, uh, what do you call, some trips. IV, IV, intravenous. And intravenous. And at that time, uh, we should be careful, you know, before the bottle becomes empty, we have to remove it. Otherwise, the air, air bubble will go and uh, that will lead to instantaneous death. So, Subrata Bachi was watching this and he told the nurse, uh, it is time for you to remove them. So, she bluntly said, you go and do it. So, naturally, you know, the, it offended him terribly. And later on, the nurse came and removed it. Okay. Uh, when the nurse came to take leave of his father, the father immediately opened. Why are you so late in going home today? So, Brother Bhaji was shocked. Here is a man lying on the deathbed, more concerned about the nurse who was who had overworked, who, was, who has a family, who has to get back in a place like Delhi where commuting is a big problem. All those things were weighing in his mind than the fact that she was a little negligent on his duty. It was really a you know, uh, reminder to all of us. So there is no limit for inclusion, he says. That means when the inclusion part takes place in our mind, all other things become insignificant. What happens in our case is, the other one becomes significant because of the absence of the inclusion. So, inclusion is a beautiful word we have to keep on bringing into our mind. And think about that talk, Rupratopachi's father. This incident, you know, we, we all uh, we all feel much, much uh, joyous when, when, when we hear such incidents. Because it's a concrete proof, not a philosophy, not a theory, not simply an intellectual uh, thought. But it is something solid, you know, something that had happened, that had touched, and that it really touches and moves us. So that, it, and when we keep on hearing about it for a longer time, Thinking about it for a longer time, rest assured, it will have some deep impact in our thinking. So today, the probably the take-home message can be about the inclusion. Kindly think about it. Parade before your mind. Whenever it has disturbed you because of anybody, is it because that the inclu- you have not included him in your list? Can we try like that? Anyhow, uh, as usual, today's uh, uh, session has also been very, very, very lively. So many points, we have been able to get, get it from IQG and at the same time relating ourselves with the workaday life. This is exactly what Papa wanted. Spirituality that cannot be applied in actual life is no spirituality, he said. God is in the world and acting through every one of us. So, God, Papa has been extremely gracious, not only to uh, make, make us to think on those lines, to make us dwell more intensely on those lines. So, we pray to him, please, keep up the same tempo in us. Never write off, please. We are all your children. We want to rise up to your expectation. So, kindly help us. Hari Om. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram